Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the problem is word pattern. Um, in this problem, we will be given a pattern and a string. And we need to check whether that string follows that pattern or not. So here follow means a full match such that there is a bijection between a letter in the pattern and a non-empty word in it. Let's see what the problem is. So if you see this test case, pattern is given and a string is given. Now if you see in the pattern, it's like A, B, B, A means these the last two letters are same and the middle two will be same. So if you see the last are the same, dog, dog. And the middle are same cat cat right so they are fall they are matching they are matching so the output will be true now if we see for the other test case over here we have a b b a um, that means the last two should be same and the middle should be same so middle are same but the last two are not same here it is dog but here it is fish so this will give us false and if you see over here um pattern is like all the four letters should be same but over here they are different right all either all should be dog or all should be cat so this is false i hope you understood what the problem is now see what we are doing over here if we have a we are kind of mapping it to dog right that whenever a will come dog should come then b then cat B. for b cat should come similarly when b is there then again cat should come and when a is there since earlier a was mapped to dog so a is here so dog should come right so i hope you understood what uh, we will be doing in this problem we will be mapping these words in uh, these letters which are in the pattern with the words in the string so let's do one thing uh, let's quickly understood this test case also. So in this test case, if you see, we need to have uh, all different, but they all are same. Well, like these two should same and uh, these two should be different, but all of them are same. So this will also return false. Right. Now let's do one thing. Now let's see how we will approach this problem. So over here. What we'll be doing, we'll be mapping, we'll be mapping letters. This is our pattern given to us, pattern, and this is the first string S. We'll be mapping letters from pattern to words in, words in string. Because here it, they are words, right? They are separated by space. Here they are continuous, like together. But here they are like, uh, they are separated by space so these letters this letter will map to dog this b letter will map to cat so what will be the uh, mapping Wo how we will do it let's see that so see what we will do is we will start traversal first of all we have to um, like this is a string right we have to convert this string and we like we have to store all these words in a vector so that we can map them from you uh, with this letter right so what does we will do first we will make a vector and uh, these individual words will be added in our vector so whenever space will come this word will be added in the vector cat cat and dog let's say we have extracted out all the words from this string and we have uh, inserted them in a vector so this is let's say words vector words <clears throat> now we'll be doing mapping so we, what we'll do is we will have a pointer here first of all see it might happen uh, that there could be a case this could be a edge case let's say if pattern is given to us is, uh, is a b c and let's say d right but the uh, string the string which is given to us has letters uh, has words um, let's say uh, dog cat right like this 
So what you will do when you will convert this string into vector? This will be dog comma cat. And this is ABCD. So length of this pattern is 4. But the length of our string is 2. Right. Hence. Hence we cannot map all the letters which are in pattern with this. Hence obviously this is not following the uh, pattern. So we will return false in this case. In which case? False will be returned in that case where p dot size means our pattern size is not equal to our this words size, words array size, words vector size, words dot size. Because in order for them to follow the same pattern, right, they should have same words, same number of words, count of words. So I hope you understood this uh, edge case. So this edge case we just need to check that if the size is not equal. Simply, we have to return false. Return false. They are not match uh, following the pattern. So now let's see further. Now let's say they, we have converted. We have this words vector and we are now doing mapping. We have checked that edge, uh, edge case. So see over here, this is four size and this is also four size. Hence, they are not uh, unequal. So we will continue. It will not go in the if condition. And now what we'll do is we'll map the letters. So we will start from here. First of all, we get A. We have this map. A is not present in the map. Hence, it's not mapped yet. So let's say we are mapping A with what? We are mapping A with dog. Then we have, I, uh, we go further. We B is not in the map. So we will map B with cat. Then we again go for, for further. We see B is in the map. So what we will do, we will check whether this B is mapped with this right now, whether it is same as the earlier one or not. So earlier B, earlier this B was mapped with cat. So ideally this B also should map with cat. So we will check if whatever is in the hash map, let's say this is P, P of I. So we will check this is hash map M. Whatever hash map has of this b value b it should be equal to this one so words of i if they are equal means cat cat and cat so this is okay but if in case they were not equal then we have to just simply return false from them for example over here if it would be like deer right so they are not equal hence it's wrong not following the same pattern i hope you understood this condition this is how we'll be uh, going through and traversing and checking. Now let's see one more test case. Let's say we have something like this. We have A, B, A, A. This is our pattern. And let's say we have um, uh, this string. And let's say it has dog, dog, dog and dog, right? So, <coughs> see, um, what we will do is, we will have to check, right? Uh, see, over here, size is 4. Here also, we will convert it into vector. Of This will be words array, words vector. So, this will be dog, comma dog, right? right? So, this will be converted into a vector. Then, we will check the size. So, this has size 4 and this vector also has size 4. So, it's 4, 4. Hence, uh, they are equal so we can go for the mapping part so over here um, a first of all we'll start from a i will be here a will be mapped to dog right then we will go to b now b is not in the hash map so we will again map b with dog which is not correct see which is not correct a is getting mapped to dog and B is also getting mapped to dog. So this is not correct, right? So in this case, what we need to do is we need to check whether this value, this value was existing previously or not in the hash map. So one way is to just simply go through the hash map and check whether this value is present or not in the like dog. It was earlier as a present as a value or not. Otherwise, we can have a set. We can have a set. And whenever we insert the value, 
we will be inserting that in the set also so over here when we have mapped a with dog a will uh, we'll uh, make a entry in the hash map and along with that this is a set in which we'll add dog what this value so then when we will be mapping then when we'll be mapping b with the dog first of all we will check okay b is not in the hash map hence we can add an entry but before adding let's check whether this value is was earlier map was earlier mapped with someone else or not so we will check in the set if the count if the count of this value dog was is greater than 1 greater than 0 in this set means it was earlier present in the set so then we will return false because we are trying to we are trying to uh, map two keys with same value right i hope you understood how we are using set so let's see the code quickly we have discussed uh, all the test cases so first of all this is a pattern given string given uh, we are making this v vector you can name it as words also <coughs> so what is here is we over here we are uh, like we have all the like this s string was space separated na? so we are we are what we are doing is we are uh, uh, like making this v, vec uh, v vector wherein we are just pushing all the words dog cat cat dog like this so this is the logic for that after that what we are doing is we are just checking for the size as we discussed for the if condition and then we are taking this map where a uh, key will be a character see key was a character and string was a, a value was a string so this is a set taken so that we can check whether the same value is getting, ma getting mapped two times or not right so we are looping and we are checking if the current pattern is not in the uh, is in the if it is in the hash map this is pattern in hash map if we found the pattern in hash map otherwise if pattern is in the hash map just check whether the it, it has a value which is uh, like in the v vector so if they are equal if they are not equal then return false otherwise if the value is not in the hash map then we need to add it but before adding as we discussed before adding the value we have to first check uh, whether it is uh, this value is not in the set or not so if that value was in the set means the count of that va value is greater than zero hence it is already present in the set so we cannot add that same value return false and at last you can return true so i hope you understood the problem uh, submit it and uh, time complexity so it's getting submitted time complexity is o of n and space is also o of n considering that we have taken set and hash map and o of n we are doing a single traverse i hope you understood the problem and the approach let me know if you have any doubts if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel so, and i'll see you in the next video